Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in today to take a look at a Fiend Foley item called Too Many Options. It's this red one in the middle here and this is going to make special rooms rotate between multiple different special rooms um, instead of just being the one. So basically our item room might not be our item room. Our devil deal might not be our devil deal. Our sacrifice room might not be our sacrifice room and that is why we have some supporting items here so we have goat head to get a guaranteed devil deal that like i said won't be a devil deal we have the item itself we then have atlas here you can see this working now already look right here we then have atlas here which is going to generate up to four additional rooms per floor that can be special rooms and we also have the wicker man from something wicked which guarantees a sacrifice room each floor which will also rotate between different options this one's one that i'm not sure if it'll work or not but i wanted to give it a go and then we've also got george as an addition here whenever we enter special rooms it will unlock a red room adjacent to it which i think is pretty cool but yeah basically our sacrifice room is now multiple different rooms we've got an arcade we've got a chest room and we've got a dice room but we can pause both of these to try and get the one we want so we can do this for example and we got this room here uh, so as you can see on the map it's meant to be a sacrifice room but it's not and we get a red room as an addition to the other stuff that we had there uh, and i just thought yeah george would be an interesting one that could potentially give us some additional special rooms on top and i thought that'd be fun why not um so we got here multiple two of diamonds okay we've got an ace of diamonds and two two of diamonds so this could be very lucrative for us instant secret room access there's really nice um is this gonna be a good room for this no it's not I, I need to find a better room for my ace of diamonds really i need to find a room where i'm gonna get a lot of value oh wait these guys are spewing out spiders though which is potentially pretty good although we're generating a bunch of um a bunch of blue spiders from that pot in the middle there which obviously isn't gonna help us yeah, I can't I can't really do it on this this room here. It's not gonna work. Okay, can you guys get in the pots please? Thank you. Especially that champion one's gonna be a bit of a pain. Get out of the pot, you. Really? Okay, it's gonna be one of those. Okay, we can we managed to get him, we managed to get him. Right, we're gonna want just a room with a ton of enemies in it. Which <laughs> at the minute, no luck. Three enemies isn't enough. I need I need a room full of spiders or flies, please. But yeah, I'm really hoping that this ends up being a pretty interesting uh, experience. So here, yet again, we do not have a treasure room. So we're going to have to go for a chest room again, I think. So we go for shop, but I think the chest room's the potentially most valuable. we got the same one again that requires us to have a bunch of keys. Hey, we did get our ultra secret room. And this is another reason I wanted to use this, because having the ultra secret room at least guarantees us to get some items, even if they're items I don't particularly care for, unfortunately. Um, it's something. It's something. Uh, right, Ace of Diamonds, please let us get something good going from this. We have three bombs already, which is nice. There, there you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this in here. It's not the most things I could have gotten. We got What's this? The Queen of Spades? Spawn 1 to 10 keys. That is perfect. We really needed a lot of keys this floor, so that is ideal for us. Magicians uh, top. Okay, every 30 seconds while an uncleared room, the familiar spawns a suit uh, card, activates random tarot cards. Ooh, interesting. I like the idea behind that. Let's grab that as well. Right, cool. I like this hat. I've never had this item before, so I'm down to clown with it. Right, now we can go back in here. We can bomb this for starters. And get potentially some money and keys out of it before we duplicate our money. Good, good. And daddy long legs. Okay, this is a good start for items, even though we didn't get an item room on this floor. Um, so we'll pop these open first. Contract from below. Very nice. Good, good, good. We do have a token there. We'll leave that for now. I'll come back to you, Eternal Chest, once I've opened up the chests around. I'm going to bomb these as well real quick. More chance for money. I've got to go for it. Right. In here we go. And we'll crack that open. That open. That open. Uh, spawns a golden troll bomb. Okay, that's not ideal. Do we gamble on this? or do? I think we just double, double, don't we? Double. Double. There you go. We're up to 84 already. Oh, that's a shame. We got a, f a five cents out of that afterwards. It's not ideal. But hey, -ho. Uh, I think now we can open this pretty safely. Right. Now, when we see shops, we've actually got a reason to go. And this has been a, a very lucrative first floor so far. Um, we got ourselves a dice shard as well, which is very good. And yeah, if we find a shop, we are good to go into that shop. But we're not always guaranteed to find a shop. That's the thing here. That's the thing. 
We're not always guaranteed to find that shop we might want. As for um, as for the question of the day, we got this top hat. Are you into magic? Do you know any magic tricks? That'd be interesting to know. I think magic's one of those things that's it, it's it can be really entertaining. But I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm into it. I'd definitely go see a magic show if there was one offered to me. But I wouldn't go out of my way to book and pay to see one myself, sort of thing. If it was like a group of friends going and they were like, "Hey, do you want to come?" I'd be like, "Yeah, why not? That sounds fun." But it's not something I would actively seek out. So we do have a, a shop here. So I think we ought to go for the shop. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm pay playing as um, Tainted Judas, it's because if you get a curse room, it will still have spikes on the door. And so I wanted to make it so that we could access those um, freely without taking damage. So we get Dad's battery here. We actually got another um, room here. That's kind of nice. Okay. I'll buy Dad's battery. I'm not going to use it yet, but it's potentially good. And we'll go for another um, chest room, shall we? There you go. I love the fact that you can pause both of those. Yes, I'm liking the extra red rooms. They're really, really nice for us here. Um, and yeah, no, no reason to use our dice shard quite yet. I'll probably save that for like a devil or angel deal if we get one. Remember, there is no guarantee. And of course, if you're wondering about like the cycling between rooms, there is certain rooms like devil and angel deals that are much rarer to show up. So you're not always going to get those. A chariot we don't care for. Ooh, we got fate. Very, very nice. I think I'll take fate to be honest. And then our token. Do we have any thing to take as the token. I guess right now the best thing to do would be to um, grab that and just take an additional dice shard because then we've got one for whatever our boss item might be. Not that we need it, but just kind of good to have. Daddy Longlegs doing his thing. Now, the top hat takes 30 seconds to activate, so I was just about to say, it'll probably activate in this room here. Bit of a bad hit there. Um, and honestly, yeah, I'm going to reroll that. Um, increased flat damage of bombs is good. High tops is pretty decent. And we'll go back and get our other, uh, other shard there. I should have picked up that heart before I re-rolled it. I always forget the dice shard is also a d20. But either way, this has been a pretty successful first floor. I'm liking what we've got going on so far. And, uh, yeah, let's move down to the next floor and see what we can make happen. I do remember... When I was in, like, my first year of uni, so, for example, look, this, this door's double locked, but what we got in here? We got a regular double locked room, which I think I'll actually go for. Let's do one key first. Oh, it keeps the one that you put your initial key in for. Didn't know that. Full run reroll there. Regular red room. That was a bit of a shame. I didn't realize it'd lock in whatever you put in the first key for. I thought it would, uh, I thought it would not do that. It's a shame. Oh, well, okay. Let's keep moving. Uh, we do not want a full run reroll right now because we are having fun with what we have. There's our guaranteed sack room, which isn't a sack room. We've got this thing that's uh, turning enemies purple as we get close to them. I'm not quite sure what that's from. I want to try and see what that's about. If I stay, stay really close to this guy. Oh, he becomes charmed. Okay. Um, what item is that from then? Oh, is that the high tops? I think that's the high tops. Nice. Bonus little card there for us. It's actually really good, the high tops, with uh, the situation we've got going on right now, to be honest. Because we can transform a lot of enemies into charmed friends by just using dark arts on top of them sort of thing. you got to get very, very close, mind you, but I think we can make it work. You're the last one remaining, good friend. Oh, wait, no, there's a spider there as well. But yeah, for example, we can do this. And then, if he doesn't die... Ooh, we got a devil deal here. Um, unfortunately, we do not have the health to make a devil deal work right now. So I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on opening that room because we might want to go for a shop instead if we can't afford that. Okay, if these little spiders could, um, could all die, please. <laughs> that would be just fine and dandy. Because uh, at the minute, they are causing a bit of a, a bit of a ruckus. I'm really liking this little top hat. It's a really cool item. Charm them or kill them. I do not care. Ooh, I will crack that open. That could afford us... Ooh, no. I was going to say it could afford us to uh, get a devil deal, but instead... Oh, contract from below this early on is amazing. Also, a luck upgrade from that there is very, very nice. Okay. 
still haven't had an item room yet, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> As I said, this is why this item kind of needs additional items to go with it, because otherwise you kind of have a hard time of, of, of getting what you want. So, I need to be able to see a bit more, really. Right, that one. Shop is opened up, and we got another room here, which is actually in another shop if we want to go for another shop. Which I think we do right now. We're getting a lot of dice rooms. Dice rooms seem to be super common. That's plus damage and range. We'll take that. Thank you. And then in here, we've got... Throws a flame um, on use, which curses enemies for six seconds. They'll take 1.5 damage and gain a slight slowing effect. Yeah, I'll take that. Seems pretty decent for us right now. And yes, indeed, I'll take the soul heart. Do we have any HP in here to buy? No, we did not. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so there's definitely some down, some big downsides to this item, but I think the idea of the item is that it might pay off eventually in terms of, like, you might end up getting a um, a really lucky floor where you get, like, an angel deal and an item room or two treasure rooms sort of thing. The, the bonuses that are out there available to you are numerous, but the potential chance for you to be screwed over by the item is just as much. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a difficult one. I've had it a few times on regular runs, um, and it's really screwed me over in the past, which is why I wanted to give myself every opportunity I could. Hey, we finally got a treasure room. We really need some more damage. Our damage is pretty low right now. So in this scenario here, we want to hold up, wait until it goes into treasure room, and then hold down and go in. There you go. Uh, throws a Molotov cocktail a projectile. I know I've just bought this um, this thing, this here candle, which is what 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 charge is that? Oh, that's a single charge. I don't know. The Molotov seems more interesting to me, even though I've only just bought the other item. I realize it's a bit of a waste of money, but still. There you go. Look at that charm there. I really like that. So that was meant to be our shop. Ow. Oh, dude. That was evil. Get gone, please. As if we've got a devil deal over there that we can't grab. I'm so annoyed by that. Ooh, damn. That does a good amount of damage to bosses. Wow. I like that. We've got this thing that makes, makes bombs do extra flat damage. So we can do that and drop a bomb on you to kill you pretty quickly. So we do get a devil deal here, which, yet again, isn't a devil deal anymore. Um, we'll go for the chest room, I think. Dice rooms are sort of the most frustrating to see, because I just... I can't utilize dice rooms, really. There's obviously a few in there that I could make use of, but a lot of them I'm not going to get a lot out of. Oh, this was an error room. I was not expecting this. Okay. Well, we get some additional items here, I guess. And uh, damage up makes tears vary a little bit. I think I'm going to reroll all of these, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with all of these. I wasn't expecting an arrow room here. Ooh, man, that's some good money. The money just keeps flowing back to us at the minute. It's very, very nice. Right, away we go. So we did miss out on that potential devil deal there, but at the same time, we couldn't afford it, so that's mostly okay. So these rooms seem to stay static. They, these don't change. Ooh, that was unfortunate. Ooh, dude, it's kind of hard to throw that fire the way that you want to. Charm him. Ah, oh, I didn't quite stay long enough. I think I can open these chests up by just standing like this. Yes, I can. Nice, and I got Guppy's paw out of that. Extra soul heart. Guppy's paw will obviously just grab to have a guppy item locked in, but we're not really going to get to use that. That is such a good active, man. I really like that. Let's do that again here. I really like the fact that you can cheese those spike chests with this character. Any character that can cheese mechanics like that, I really enjoy. 
We finally got enough health to take a devil deal if one should uh, if one should present itself. Remove the negative effects of using sinful jewels if one has it. Unfortunately, not really that applicable to us right now. A cracked key, maybe? Sadly not. Just red hearts. How dare you, game. So yet again, no treasure room. I, I just think, yeah, what, what they should do with this item, just to make it a little more plausible to take on, like, a normal run, is just have some level of guarantee for treasure rooms, or just up the chances for treasure rooms, because, my god, the amount of non-treasure rooms you get is kind of obscene. I could do cash room, to be fair, here. Let's, uh, let's go cash room. Unfortunately, pretty bad cash room. But at least we uh, we don't take damage going into cash rooms with this character. Main reason I uh, I picked him. Otherwise, it'd be rather annoying. Thanks, rules card. Exactly what I needed right now. We got a treasure room here this time. Hope hopefully this time it's something a little better. Right, shop, and then spikes, and then treasure. In we go. Harlequin. Thank you. Whoa, what on, earth is, what on earth is this room? Why is it full of, like, a bunch of enemies that shouldn't be on this floor? Hearts will drop more often. Yeah, we'll try that and see if we get any uh, re uh, soul heart drops this floor. This is definitely proving to be a bit of a challenge run so far. Even with all the additional bonuses that I've latched onto this run, like... We're still having a really, really hard time with, uh, with getting a good amount of items. I mean, that first floor, if that first floor wasn't as good as it was, we wouldn't be nearly as safe as we are right now. That first floor kind of hard carried us. But from then on, we've kind of got a bit unlucky. So this is a, an actual spike room here, so we want to go for the shop, I think. So what we've got to do realistically here is we've got to pop this... And then we got a pause buffer and then go in. There you go. A little bit hard to do, but I managed it. We'll take a starter deck. That's not too bad. Moon is pretty decent for the next floor, potentially. I haven't gotten super lucky with the ultra secret rooms here, though, have we? I was hoping for a few more of those to come our way. Curse of the Tower, you say? <laughs> Curse of the Tower, you say? Ugh, why not? Why not? It's given it to us. Who am I to say no? Who am I to turn down the game's offering? High Priestess, not not ideal. Right, another room here for us to check out. It does seem like, by the way, that the... Um, we've got a bedroom there, actually. Very nice. We can get three soul hearts out of that. It does seem that the Wicker Man is actually helping out, by the way. We are getting um, extras... Takes away, round your keys down. Okay, we definitely want to do that. Uh, I'll keep that for the next floor, though. Right. Bedroom I need to lock in for. Good, good. Right, good, good. Because this is three soul hearts. We really, really need those three soul hearts. Our health has been pretty bad for a little while here. We'll check that out as well. I didn't think it'd be a crawl space, but we had to try it. Oh, wow. So we'll, we'll grab this card here and we'll save that for the next floor. Kind of a cheeky little room there. Right, back we go. We do now have golden bombs to play around with this floor, so we should probably try and take advantage and find the second secret room if we can. Lose all your bombs and spawn up a proportional number of pickups. Um, respectively removes golden bomb as well. Okay, do I want to do that? Seems like a bad idea, but at the same time, I don't know. If it gives us an item, it might be worthwhile. If it gives us an item, it might be worth it. That wasn't in the middle. None of those are second secret room? Okay. Very surprising.
Where the hell is second secret room? Okay, I think I'm done with this floor now. So I'm gonna pop... Um, which card was it? Wait. Nah. These are the ones we want to keep. Where's the other card then? It's this one, right? Okay. Let's pop this. That was pretty good. We got a trinket that I like more as well. We got an item out of it. We got Perthra. Nice. We got a Tattered Page. We got Worship, which is just too risky to use. We have a Gigabomb somehow. Take a Gigabomb. And we got the Moon. Actually, let's let's swap the let's let's take that and the Perthra. I don't really care that much about the Moon card. Right, are we good to go on this floor? I think we're good to go on this floor. The amount of damage that does is so good. You are absolutely locked in place there. And we get ourselves our angel deal, which <laughs> isn't an angel deal. Uh, we'll go for the shop here. We've got plenty of money to work with. And then this will also be an error room, right? Single use creates a portal leading to, tre um, to the treasury or planetarium. If uh, rooms have not been visited, rerolls items into the in the rooms into planetarium items. Interesting. I'm gonna buy that and take that to the next floor and see how that works because that's that's intriguing to me. Ah, really? Okay, no, it did give us an item at least, and it's a really bad one that I don't want. <laughs> Okay, then I've got to go down to the next floor. I've, I've got like an order of operations going on here, so. Let me just check how my active works again. So, where is it? Creates a portal leading to the treasure room or planetarium. If the room has not been visited, rerolls, items. Okay, so I just use it straight away. I go in. That didn't... Oh, wait, no, that did work, I think. Um, tears up, shot speed up. Tears have a chance to electrify enemies for three seconds. Enemies with electrified effect get confused and take one damage every 0.26 seconds and will shoot electricity lasers to nearby enemies, dealing 0.5 of the player's damage. That seems pretty good. Right, so now we want to go and pop this, which will lose half our keys, but will gain the ability to gain back a bunch of keys by killing stuff. The electricity thing seems pretty good. And euthanasia. Lovely. Um, we will pop in here. Remember that the first one that we open is the one that it locks into. So we'll go with the shop. And we get potato. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the potato. Not exactly the most lucrative of loots, but I will take it. We've got Perthra, remember, so we can utilize Perthra somewhere. So here to not take damage, we want to do shop again. Dude, it's the same three rooms every single time, man. So we'll do that. And then it's shop. Just about managed to make that work. This guy's going to take heart containers off of us. I do not want that right now. This is a shop we can actually keep as a shop. We've gotten very unlucky with our room draws so far. Can be used without full charge. On use grants two speed, Aries effect, and slows down the room. Discharges each second while active. Can be used again to speed up the room for three seconds. Cannot be charged by batteries or by clearing rooms. Fully recharged and entering a new floor. That sounds confusing. I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> I kind of get how it works, but I'm not that arsed. Oop, I have brimstone for some reason. 
Where did Brimstone come from? I guess I got it from one of my top hat cards. Yeah, by the looks of it. By the looks of it, that's exactly what happened. Right, we've got a few more rooms back this way to check out first. This has been a really interesting run, though. It's like, it's weird. It's The run seems reasonably powerful, but I th it just feels so wrong not having, like, not having got as like many item rooms over the course of the run. It just doesn't feel right. Euthanasia's doing a good job for us. I want a devil deal or an angel deal, especially an angel deal. If that would be, if that could be arranged for us, that would be very, very lovely. Sack dagger doesn't do all that much for us, but I'll take it. I, I know, by the way, that I could pair throw some of this stuff, but I'm saving pair throw for a room that has like multiple options in it. Or like in an item room pool that's actually going to be more valuable, like an angel deal. I don't really want to just use it wherever. It's a bit of a waste. I do need to stop walking directly into enemies, though. That is uh, causing me some bodily harm that is completely unnecessary. Mini boss, hello, hello. We have so many keys now. We're, we're able to get into any special room that comes our way, I think. Oh wow, Sack, Sack Dagger just kind of killed all those through their, through their helmet, which I don't even know how is plausible, but certainly not going to cry about. Honestly, Dark Arts with uh, Sack Dagger is proving to be very strong. Leftover Takeout, all stats up, chance to fire Fortune Worm, okay. The Fortune Worm's going to be annoying, but all stats up is not something I'm willing to, uh, to, uh, not something I'm willing to tear my nose about right now, because we kind of need it. I seem to be saying that phrase a lot, but oh well. Right. Perthro, where are you going to get used? Is this dev... Uh, one, one thing that I kind of wish it would do is, based on the type of door it was meant to be originally... So, for example, if it's meant to be a treasure room, it has a much higher chance of having a special room in the rotation. So, let, let's say, for example... A, a devil deal has a 5% chance of being selected at any time. That's fine. But if it was supposed to be a devil deal, it then has like a 30 or 40% chance. Just to make it like, there's a little bit more weight to it rather than it being completely random. I think that would just make it a little more fair. And a little more, like a little potentially easier to actually get the rooms you want. Because like, how many times have we seen this? We've got chest room, cash room and shop again. That seems to be the three that you get every time. <laughs> and it's just kind of nuts. <laughs> oh my lord, are these all fucking rules cards? How dare you, game? Oh, we do get a glitched item, though, which is potentially nice. Um, stars. Grants perfectly generic object. When an enemy projectile is spawned, deals zero damage. Thank you. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Oh, it did the glitch. It did the glitch. For some reason, on occasion, taking a, taking a, a glitched item, like, just gives you, like, the tooltip of telling you what the item's supposed to give you is just entirely wrong. I mean, right now I'm not complaining because we got some good stuff out of it. Okay, let us go. But yeah, that's just a lot of rule cards. That's kind of evil. The stars align. It's a planetarium, baby. Although, no, it's not. I just realized. It's not a planetarium. We just got an extra special room to roll. I'll pop worship. Why not? A hey, jawburn. It's not great, but it's something. I don't feel quite as screwed over. Right, I'm liking this electricity uh, planetarium item. Oh look, it's a cash room, a shop, and a dice room. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Oh, the D3 though, baby. The D3. Ultra secret room, lovely. False PhD. I don't. I'm not sure about that. Can't 
kind of forgot I had gigabombs here, but I'm just going to use them. I don't care. I guess I'll take false PhD. It's not worth the reroll, is it? D3, I want you. You are utter chaos. And I have you. Thanks to these golden hearts that I was awarded. Beautiful stuff. Whoa, what the hell? Everything just disappeared from the shop when I bought that. I'm not entirely sure why that happened. There's a lot of stuff at the minute that I'm just not sure why it's happening. This is this is a very weird run, let's be honest. We have, we have Dirty Mind in here somewhere, apparently. I'm guessing it's something to do with the glitched item I picked up. Like I said, the description of the glitched item wasn't very true to the effect that we gained, so we don't really know what that glitched item did. I'm not quite sure what causes that to happen, but it is a bit frustrating when it does. Why did I do that? Oh, wait, what? This took us to an actual shop. I'm confused. So the hermit will take you to the actual shop, but it will stay as an actual shop. That's kind of an interesting workaround, potentially. <laughs> I love the fact that buying an item just completely screws you. We're bombing our way out of this. Oh, we don't need to. The door's already open. Oh, look. A sacrifice room, an arcade, and a shop. Who'd have thought? <laughs> um, I just realized I've been pausing and using dark arts to like get through these rooms when I've got fit, so I can just fly through them. That was a bit stupid of me, wasn't it? Ooh, crutch. Do I have any tier effect? Yeah, I do actually. That's good. Okay. Crutch is good here. Also, I think Dirty Mind was like, like the enemies dropping Dirty Mind, um, little fellas, was because of having that trinket. Looky here. It's the same thing again. It's actually bizarre, like, the, the, the chances to get, like, it, it, it genuinely must be the, the shop dice room, sacrifice room, and I think it's chest room, must have like a solid like 30 or 40% chance of happening because they seem to be all over the place. Right, so there's that planetarium that won't be a planetarium, sadly. Oh, but we did get a devil deal. We did finally get a devil deal that we can utilize. So that's something. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, there's an enemy in there. Yeah, our glitched item clearly did some weird stuff. Um, and we get ourselves sin robes. Nice. I don't know why it didn't let us buy, buy both of those items then, but it's okay, because I didn't really want both anyways. But, at least our planetarium had the decency to turn into something good. <laughs> throw. Get boss room. We are absolutely crazy with the consumables right now. Oh, hello. It's Papa. I'm sorry, Papa. I have demolished you. <laughs> Whoa, that was a big scythe. Binky's pretty good here. I don't really care which one of these I get. That that wasn't an arcade. <laughs> I definitely just walked into an arcade, so... Not entirely sure what happened there. I'll let you off. Considering you just gave me a devil deal, I'll let you off. Dude, we have so many tiers that have effects on them, that, like, so many of them are increased size with Herming because of this crutch uh, trinket we've got. The crutch trinket's really good. It's like, the later in the game you get it, the better it'll be. Early game, it's normally, like, barely does anything. Is that getting to the point where you've got two or three different tier effects that can trigger it? Any tier effect will gain larger size and herming. It's, it's, it's well good. We've got an angel deal here. Dude, can we can we stop with these bad boys? Because they're really making it very hard to li line ourselves up. We've got a pair throw at least. We've got a pair throw. I was, I was, for a second there, I was very sad. 
but we have a pair through. 25% chance to activate random effects from a set list when an enemy is killed. That's pretty good. And then Glyph of Balance. Eh. Glyph of Balance is really good if you play towards it, but I'll be honest, I'm not going to play towards it. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, but... But yeah, we keep spawning the um, the sucker fellas after we kill enemies. It's something to do with our glitched item doing that, I think. I think it's when we get hit, actually, looking at it now. D3 is doing some wild stuff. Thank you. Pill Penny. Ah, it was a range down. But another thing I really like about this item is normally, I'll be honest, I'm not big on exploring the entire floor, but now every special room is like has potential. So it's really, really worth exploring the whole floor. The little ghost baby. When you typically wouldn't. There's rooms here that we need to uh we need to turn into other rooms. We can't be leaving that sack room behind, or the rooms that Atlas might spawn, or whatever. I don't know if we've actually seen Atlas trigger yet. It's, it's hard to tell. But then George is obviously giving us those red rooms on occasion. I think that's nice. Yeah, George was kind of an additional item that I didn't really need to add. I just thought it'd be fun. So it doesn't seem to be when I get hit, then. It just seems to spawn these dudes randomly whenever it kind of seems to want to. we got an arcade here that could also be nothing. Oop, Fiendfolio having an issue there with that. Hey, hello, ultra secret room. It's nice to see you. Unfortunately, we very much already have flight, but spectral, we don't, so I can respect the spectral. Oh, we got a tainted treasure room there, but it's not a tainted treasure room. That's kind of sad. Right. Degas, I'm just going to pop. Shop. Car battery, I love. Um, There's a library in here. I'm going to go for the library. Library. We have the weird book here. Um, mimics books, touched pedestal, will cycle through books, but at the same time, Soul of Eden. Of Eden. <laughs> Dude, the crimson stick. What? What's, what's, what's going on with all of our items disappearing when we touch them? I think that should happen in a library, but other rooms it shouldn't. Oh damn, this room was uh, a bit glitched. But yeah, Crimson Stick is just like, I don't know. <laughs> it's always there for us, apparently. It just likes to show up all the time. Ow. I'm trying to make my way to the boss room, the only way I know how. This, this Crimson Stick was like anything that gives you unlimited bombs. Absolutely insane. Oh, this is a shop. I'll grab that, thank you. Oh, I need to sneeze. Apologies for that abrupt pause. I really need to sneeze there. <laughs> Excuse me. No, I didn't mean to do that. Periodically cancels the AI of enemies bosses in the room with a chance for the AI to be replaced with that of people. I am confused by what that means, but I, I want to see it happen. Unfortunately, we we skipped mum. <laughs> My bad. Look, another shop. I'm just going to hold and see what happens, see, see which room we get. Hey, we did get a shop. We got jumper cables. Oh, 
Oh my lord, what is happening? The D3, man. The D3. <gasps> Anzus. That's so useful. See, now we can shortcut. <laughs> Ow. There's a lot going on right now. Ow. No, I pushed that bomb away, my bad. Calm down. Look, Penny, thank you. I'm just making my own path to the boss. Don't mind me. Ooh, the candle. I like the candle. I love this candle, actually. I remember, I remember which one it is now. <laughs> Excuse me? Why, why wasn't I allowed through that door there? Give me more bombs back, game. That's what I really need right now, it's just more bombs. There's two more bombs. How am I not allowed to re-enter the society through this door? There's a treasure room. It's like our third treasure room ever. <laughs> Gimme. No, I missed it. <laughs> oh, man. I get a treasure room and I still goddamn miss it. Right. We've made our weird way around to the boss. I'm going to use this download failure on the boss and see what happens. I want it to act like a human, whatever that is meant to mean. Okay, they're still just fighting like normal, so... I don't know what was meant to happen, but sadly it didn't. Damn it. We're down. We're good. Oh, this has been a really, really strange run. This is not gone the way that I expected it would. A hey, three extra bombs. We want to bomb our way to wherever. Yeah, I gotta say, I don't know, like, I feel like Crimson Stick, the, before I'd had it installed on whatever mod pack it was on, um, like, forever before I showcased it. And since I did that showcase episode, it's shown up like ten times. It's just all over the place. D3 doing its thing. Oh, dude, these grimaces. Ah, this one's got me. It's, it, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. There you go. It let go. <laughs> it actually had me latched there. I could not escape its grasp. Seems like the right way. Did we get a soul of Lilith? Beautiful. Another shop. Lovely stuff. 25% chance to quadruple all items, consumables, and chests in the room. Oh, that sounds... That sounds intriguing. That sounds like, with car battery plus electric dice, the sort of gamble I'd be willing to take. Seems like a really ill-advised gamble. Very much the sort of gamble I want. How is this not the way to the boss? How dare you, game? <laughs> oh my fuck! 
Apparently, I got hit a lot in that room. My bad. Ooh, we need that burn hat. We can't fill it up, but it's going to prevent one hit, so... I like the way that any tier that passes through the D3 as well, all of those shots automatically gain herming from my trinket. Don't even know what happened there. Don't even begin to ask me because I have no idea. Holy... Okay, I think I think we probably want to go for Twisted Pair out of these. We can take both this time around for some reason, but... I'm not going to. Because I'll die. Okay. Let me back towards the boss. I should have tried to use my dreidel on the, uh... It's, that's what it's called, isn't it? The dreidel. Yeah, clear dreidel. I should have tried to use my dreidel on the, uh, Devil Deal item just to see what happened, but I didn't want to risk losing it. Boss time. Get mullered. <laughs> oh my god. See, I was, I was sort of complaining about the strength of this run, but it, it, it really, it made it in the end. It made it in the end. Oh, baby. <laughs> There's the arrow room. The dreidel worked and tripled our item. Oh, look, it's Soul. The item that I asked them to remove from the game. Was that last episode or this one? I can't remember. I was complaining about Soul. And all, all my complaining about Soul just melds into one. Hopefully we can beeline it to the boss because we do not have the health to be messing around here. The good thing is, we only have to kill one boss because we never grab the Polaroid on negative, so... We are alleviated from some of the uh, potential worry. But I do, I do actually have to survive the boss fight, which isn't going to be the easiest. I say you want to spawn your fellas. These guys ain't too bad. I love the fake out. Like, obviously, that this boss nowadays, it just seems so weird for it to spawn the fallen to start with. But, like, the first time you play the game, if you haven't watched it before, the absolute fake out of being like, oh, that's an easy boss fight. And then these certain statues that you've been seeing this entire time, just one of them just wakes up and turns into a boss. It's a pretty cool design. I like it. Not something that, like, you really think about. Right, we got it. There you go, baby. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was an intriguing run that was quite wild. Had a lot of twists and turns. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.